In this video, we're finding the volume of these three shapes and, and then comparing their volumes. So I, I, I think we should say that, first of all, they all have the same radius. And the height of the cone is 6 centimeters, and so is it on the cylinder. And in fact, you know, here they don't label it. But if the radius is 3, then that also means the diameter. Anywhere I draw it, the diameter on the sphere is also three times two or six, right? The diameter is double the radius. So the height also on the sphere is six. Cone height is six, right? From top to bottom. And the same thing with the cylinder. So let's, you know, pause for a moment and make a prediction. If the height is equal in all of these and the radius is equal in all of these, which one will hold the most stuff? Which one will have the greatest volume? And then let's start working out the details. So to find the volume of the cylinder, I'm going to multiply, well, we use my formula, which is pi radius squared times height. Radius is, is 3, squared is 9, times 6 times pi, right? Simplify, we get 54 times pi, especially when you're comparing volumes here, right? This is 54 cubic centimeters times pi. Leave it in terms of pi. Keep your life simple. Uh, if you have to estimate it, made it um, past that, go for it. But if you don't, leave it. Because here you'll start to see that to find the cone, um, basically, right, if you leave it in terms of pi, it becomes very easy to compare because the cone formula, one-third pi r squared times the height, plug it in, radius squared is, is 3 squared or 9 times the height of 6 times pi times a third. Well, 9 times 6 is 54 times a third or divided by 3, right, what's 54 divided by 3? Well, it's 18, right? 18 pi. And that's less. It holds less than the cylinder. That makes sense. This this cylinder, this cone will fit inside the cylinder, right? You can always just simply draw it. You can see it. The cone has the same height and radius. Right? There's all this empty space there, so the cone fits right in. And in fact, if you remember what, what the formula of a cone is, it's one-third of the volume of a cylinder with the same height and radius. So this this volume over here is one-third of this. And we could predict that even without calculating because we know what the formula says. It says the cone is one-third of the cylinder. So um, right, it has to be three times less. And it is. 54 divided by 3 is 18. Now the sphere, using the same logic, <coughs> this is where it, I think comes in handy. You, you could use 4 thirds pi r cubed. But the volume of a sphere, really, um, if we drew the cylinder around it, or we can picture the sphere fitting right in here, well, this, the sphere is just two-thirds of the cylinder with the same height and radius. So since they do have the same height and radius, we can just take two-thirds of our cylinder, right, of our cylinder's volume, and that will equal the sphere. So the, the cylinder's volume is 54 pi. Take two-thirds of that, and you've got the sphere. How do I do that? Well, take 54, divide it by 3. We already did that. That was the volume of the cone, 18. But here we're, we're finding two-thirds. So it's not 18 pi. It's 18 times 2, which is 36 pi. So the sphere there has a volume of 36 pi. It's kind of in the middle. And you can almost picture it. I'll try draw this one without messing it up. Use the circle tool. The sphere also fits inside right? our our, our cylinder here. We almost got it. Try. It's better when we're trying. There we go. Okay. Now it's not a perfect drawing, but I think you can see that. Well, maybe maybe you can, but you can almost see. I'm sorry if my drawing is throwing you off. That the sphere is going to fill more than the cone would inside the cylinder. And in fact, it, it fills one-third more of the cylinder than the, the cone does, because it fills two-thirds of the cylinder. So there's this nice connection between the sphere, cone, and, and cylinder that should not be forgotten, because it helps you predict how the volume changes between each shape. Thanks. I hope this helped.